are you doing today? It's Lisa from your personal best training studio. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm here with a great workout for you today. It's designed to support your body's built-in detox system so you get your body's detoxification process flowing and banish the bloat. This workout has two parts, moderate intensity cardio and a core cool down. These activities promote a natural detox in a few ways. First, they boost blood flow to your muscles, including those in your digestive system. This can help you rev up your digestive system and get things moving, if you know what I mean. And second, increasing your rate of breathing will help your lungs to expel more air, getting rid of that waste that way too. And finally, sweating will flush out those pores. It's a real win-win kind of workout. So are you ready for that sweaty detox formula? Here it is. First, it starts with 20 to 30 minutes of mild to moderate intensity cardio. How do you know if it's moderate intensity? It's moderate intensity if you feel a little winded, a little sweaty, but still able to carry on a conversation. You get to pick what you want to do on this portion of the workout. Some ideas for you might be a brisk walk or an easy jog outside or on the treadmill. You might do a session on your elliptical. I personally love to jump rope or cycle, but you get the idea. Then I want you to follow up this cardio workout with some stretches or some easy core conditioning. You can use your favorites or try these which feel great and promote a natural detox. I'm going to demonstrate the exercises that our clients know as CBRs for you here in this video. C is for crunches. These are very gentle abdominal contractions that won't hurt your back and anyone can do them. B is for bridges, another simple exercise that incorporated with proper breathing can really calm down the vagus nerve, also known as the nervous system. And lastly, the R in CBR stands for rotations. And I'll show a couple of ways to do these. They are my favorite. So why don't you kick off your shoes, grab your stability ball if you have one, and do these with me. You can do them with or without a stability ball. And we're gonna start with your back flat on the floor. So, are you ready? All right, I like to put my heels on the stability ball. My knees are bent at a 90 degree angle and my hips are at a 90 degree angle. I place my fingertips uh, underneath my head. Do not lace your fingertips. Never, never, never pull on your head when you're doing uh, crunches. So I'm just gently placing my fingertips behind my ears. I take a deep breath in through my nose and I exhale as I gently lift up my upper body. I'm also contracting my lower core, just gently pulling the knees in and exhale. Then I breathe in and exhale. So this, these are the crunches. We actually don't do a whole lot of crunches in here with the aging body because sometimes crunches can hurt the back. In this uh, leg supported crunch, your back stays very flat on the floor and it's very easy to do. So do about 10 to 15 of those. And then from there, I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna just place them out in a V on each side of my hips. And watch how easy this is. I'm just gonna extend my legs like that. And the second exercise is a bridge. I take a deep breath in. I use my hands to stabilize myself and I exhale as I lift my bottom off the floor. So inhale down and exhale as you bridge up, just down and up for 10 to 15 repetitions. And then the last exercise, rotations, I pull the ball all, again, all the way against my bottom I wrap my legs around the ball, kind of like I'm hugging the ball. And then I'm gonna put my arms out to my left and my right, perpendicular to my body, palms down on the floor, head pressed flat into the floor. I'm gonna take a deep breath in, 
And I'm going to rotate my legs to the right gently with that breathing in. Oh, my back goes snap, crackle, pop. And I'm going to exhale as I return to the center. Now, don't be scared about the snap, crackle, pop. That was actually a good uh, snap, crackle, pop, pop. So inhale down to your left as far as you can go and exhale back up to the center. And I like to repeat those for 20 reps. They're absolutely my favorite. Now I'm gonna kick this ball away from me, literally, bam. And I wanna show you uh, those three exercises if you don't have a stability ball. All right, so the first one, fingertips behind my ears. These are the crunches. I bring my feet up as if they're over the ball. So my feet are flexed to 90, my knees are approximately 90, my hips are approximately 90. I take a deep breath in and I exhale as I lift up. So up and down. And if it's hard for you to hold your legs in the air, that's fine, then just put them down on the floor and same thing, exhale up and inhale down. Bring your hands down beside your hips after you've done 10 to 15 crunches. And for the bridge, Take a deep breath in, exhale up, and just push through the bottoms of your feet, driving your hips straight up to the ceiling, and perform 10 to 15 bridges. And for the last one, um, I really don't change anything. I bring my heels a little closer to my bottom. I take my arms perpendicular to my body. I take a deep breath in, and I, as I roll, my knees are stacked. I roll them over to one side and exhale up and inhale and exhale up. If you want to make these kind of in between hard, pretend like your legs are up over that ball. Inhale down and exhale up. Inhale down and exhale up. All right, that's pretty much it. CBRs. Uh, for the over 50 crowd, anybody can do them. You don't have to be over 50. There's no magic to that. And uh, while we're here, we are a team of functional aging specialists that help men and women over 50 to move better, feel better, and age actively. And if you are not already one of our preferred clients, our, our VIP clients, then I'd like to invite you to give us a try for 21 days. Uh, just follow through the link in the description and it'll give you some more information about our 21 day strength and longevity program. Perfect to educate you with regard to what we do and so that you can decide if we're a fit for you and we can decide if you're a fit for us. Have a great day and uh, we'll see you back next Monday.